My tongue is tired. My lips are tired. Everything is tired. Fam, was I not? I was dying when I got in the car. Fam, I was like, when you tell me you got comics, fam, my lips are burning, bro. Honestly, it's crazy. <sighs> anyway. But, obviously, we've got a special guest in the building. We've actually got a special guest and they were on time. In it? So big up yourself already. Pops, pops, pops already. I was also was on time last week. Maybe, maybe this is the start of something new. I'm, I'm, in it. I'm not gonna hold my breath, but yeah, I. <coughs> I'm just gonna say. So what we're gonna do is our amazing special guest introduction, where we drop these manual bombs. Mm-hmm. Now, you have a challenge where we're gonna drop our bombs, and you have to announce who you are. There's only a few terms and conditions. Mm-hmm. One of which is don't laugh. Second of which is do not miss the drop. Simple. That part. That's it. Yeah, you can talk. I want to talk. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Yeah. So don't laugh. Yeah. Don't laugh and don't miss the drop. And don't miss the drop. And <coughs> when, the, when, the, when it drops, what am I doing? Introducing, Introducing yourself. yourself. Oh, easy. Piece. But with Let energy, me. like don't just be like, oh, my name's Karen. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I, need, I need energy. Yeah. Because if you hear the if you hear the bombs and shit, then you're gonna to get have, energy. It needs impact. There's no like uh, it just comes whenever it comes. There's no. No, we'll we'll we'll. If you're a true musician, <coughs> you'll feel the drop. Like you'll okay. you'll feel it. It'll be that. inside your that. soul. Mm. Are you ready? <coughs> <coughs> I know. I've never had it. Bring a pour of juice. You got some juice. I know, but we didn't even pour it in the This, is, no. the, this okay. is the first radio station I've come to where he was drinking. Oh, yeah, we're real. It's yeah, 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 exposed yeah, yeah. to it. It's we're like, real. Uh, have you seen that YouTube thing when they're like, Oh, yeah, the AM. I can hear oh, yeah. one of them. I'm like, I'm like, I'm Right, ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. Alright, alright, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Amiko. That's E M I K O. I'm a singer songwriter from West London, and I'm here right now at GFM Radio, all the way in Tottenham. Yes! There we go. <laughs> Got the energy. Was that good enough for you? Was that enough energy? energy? That was like the best one ever. That was the best. Like, even joined in with the bombs, and it was. Oh, it was Do you know you did a little rhythmic podcast? Mm. I felt it in my soul. Ooh. You d- uh, true musician. I felt it. I felt. I think I could cry. I, I could honestly be- cry. Save the tears. Save the tears for later. It's true. You're for right. Later. It's too early. It's too, too early. early. It's way too early for all that. It's way too early for all that. So let's get into songs of the week, so I can come up. Expecting Frank Ocean, but they got Drake. Now is that is that so much of a bad? It's not, and I'll tell you why. But this is a festival that is of a particular particular type of music which means they're going to be a particular type of fans everyone like drake is a household name but the reality is that not everyone is going to be a drake fan yeah. and that crowd is purely based off of that whole tyler tyler creator movement frank ocean that whole gang that whole unit so they came for that kind of atmosphere it's like going to see um um heady one and this i know this is extreme but heady one and then Celine Dion comes on. You're going to be like, all right, Celine Dion is an amazing artist, mm-hmm. but we don't really need to see her in this platform right now. Yeah. And I think that's what happened with Drake. They mm-hmm. booed him off. A lot of the people there might have been Drake fans, mm-hmm. and they probably were, because I could hear some cheering. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's just the vibe that they were looking for. It just it's wasn't. It's true. It's not what I paid my money for, is it really? No. Because if I've come to see Beyonce, I'm not out here seeing 50 Cent. Like, it's Anyhow. Not Drake like, is still, it's, it's he's still on top. People are saying that he needs to go back into the studio. Do you no, know what's mad? Just... Do you know what's mad? I swear they said that he's got a residency now. That the next something years, 10 years. Well, because of that? Tyler, Tyler DePater gave him a res- residency or something like that. And he's like, you're going to be seeing me for the next 10 years, bitches. How do you feel? I was like, yes. Okay. You go there and you perform. Okay. Shit. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll take you. You do that with do your chair. So, so do we think? That Drake handled that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Took the best that he could have. Because I would have got off the stage and banged he, he everybody could have, in there. He could have shouted at the crowd. He could have swore where he was like, "If you guys want me to carry on, I'll carry on. If you don't, it's all love." And he walked off. And Obviously, he had to Tyler. Say that my name's Drake. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> right, he actually said, "It's been, it's been wonderful. <laughs> yeah. My name's Drake. Gotta go." <laughs> yeah. Like, how long would you have endured that booing for, though? Like, how uh, how long would you have stood there and been like, "Mate, are they gonna calm down?" Would you have said? Right, throw on my latest banger. Like, 
<laughs> or slow on my throw on my slowest song that sounds a bit like Frank <laughs> What would you have done? Honestly? I would have said cut the block clock music. Of and course you would have. You think I get paid to come on stage <laughs> and get booed? <laughs> you must be mad. You come on, come here so I do that to my face right now. Come, you come here. You can't hear a pussy. That's why. And then I would have walked off the stage. Of course you would have. Drop the mic. You know mm-hmm. that thing there. Okay, well, you as an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't know what happened over there. What, what do you think you, like, if you literally was enduring that amount of booing? Because, you know, he only did a few, I think he only did two songs. He didn't, Seriously? the internet makes it seem like he was there doing this whole set. He only came on to do a few songs. Two, he asked the crowd if, they, if he wanted to do more and they were like, no. So he was like, all right, cool. He's probably <laughs> going to get his check anyway. So he was like, okay, cool. Um, for me, uh, the humiliation. <laughs> I would have just known when it was time to leave. There's no point trying to long out a process, you know. Mm-hmm. If, they're, if they're booing and I've done my song and I know I'm getting paid, there's no more. There's not much else I can do, you know. That's true. I came to, to to perform. If they don't want to respond to that, I leave. That's true. Anyway, what would you me, do? I, I don't know, you know. I was, I've been trying to think about this since I saw it. I was like, wow, what would I actually do? I think I'd just carry on, you know, just for fun of it. Like you're booing me, but haha, I'm still here, bitch. Because I'm petty like that, though. Mm. And I'm still having fun, so until I stop having I'm fun. I'm still getting paid, so. And I'm still getting paid. Mm. And then there's a slight chance that because I didn't finish my set, I'm now not going to get paid. My no, I'm getting check. paid. I'm Drake. <laughs> it's true. I'm getting paid. <laughs> no, but I'm saying if it was me, like I'm not Drake. So. Oh. But yeah, that's a bit. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Poor Drake. Mm. Oh, Drakey. Yeah. The, the sad thing is, if, you, if, you, if the fans don't get what they want, no matter how much they like you, in that moment, they'll still boo you, you know? Because as I said, there were Drake fans in there, but they didn't get what they wanted, and so they were like, no. Nah, he should have been like, I, I see all the pagan chit-chat goals. That's what he should have said. Yeah. Let's be honest. He performed the wrong songs, I'm telling you. He should have performed um, that, them poppy ones that he's in there. You know what I'm saying? Them In, in My Feelings songs I that he does. I think he got booed even more. Because again, oh. the crowd is... Okay, what about take a shot for me? That's even worse. <laughs> oh, oh, take a shot for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know that you don't hear me. No, nah, I can't stand Drake. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> Bitch, I'm the man. And let's talk about Steph London. Don't you regret it? Singing to the man, I've yeah. seen that, but then the man was standing there at the altar singing to the woman, oh. and I was I really thinking, oh, cringe. You need to take in the moment, it's yeah. both of your moments. You so, it? for somebody else to be singing, you're not really present, it's awkward. You're making it become their moment, you're supposed to like enjoy it together. So, I wouldn't be doing it to come down the aisle, no way. Okay, okay so because like, you're a like singer, yeah. what did you think of Trey Song's rendition of um, Big Rich Town? Trey songs. Yeah, because obviously he was thrown in the... <laughs> you know what? His version wasn't bad. It's just that people are used to a particular sound, a particular, mm-hmm. you know, that's tank doing it. So that's, 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 that's all I really. said it was trash, but yeah. There that's go. It, it wasn't a bad The thing song. is, the thing is, with, with shows, whatever the, the, the start in music things, whatever it begins with, that's what people become used to. So even if, if Trey songs, if it was Trey songs that originally sang it and that was the mm. opening thing for power that would be our thing and then if Tank came along and do it we'd be like what was this because we're just used to it so it's always going to be like that with all kind of TV shows you know factual statements yeah okay so before we get to know you a little bit more yeah. now that we know we, that you won't be singing to your wife so sorry no I didn't wife. say outright I won't be singing to my wife just coming down the aisle I won't be singing um, he ain't gonna sing to you she <laughs> bitch you ain't singing to you he so. ain't gonna sing you better sing yourself can you sing girl <laughs> yeah so I mean <laughs> God, you better get some tapes or some shit yeah. together because he ain't singing you to sleep me. Play your Spotify playlist. Yeah, so <laughs> that, that's, that's how that gonna go. So before we get to know a little bit more about you, yes. are you ready to join the leaderboard? Listen, I'm ready. I've been looking at that leaderboard since I got here. Have you been getting nervous? Absolutely not. Not nervous. Oh, Excited. I like that. Big talking. Excited. No, not even big talking. I'm no, just no, no, not we nervous. want big talking. All right, all right. I'm not dry nervous. if you don't. So, <laughs> subscribing shit, and then I get really flustered, really under pressure, and then I feel like I'm making you lose, and it's all just a bit much, to be honest. So, right. I'm going to put one minute on the clock. Okay. okay. This one is, mm. The time starts after she says her first clue. 
Are you? Would you like us to turn off the background music? Because sometimes I can throw you off and you're too busy jamming. No, I'm vibing Demi to it. I production. like it. It's like background, like background. Sure, yeah. Okay, cool. Because some art, some artists that come in, they want. Them, you're trying they, to throw they... me off, but it's not working. No, 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 uh, not, not, no. I'm actually no. genuinely asking. No, it's fine. I like the music. Okay, cool. It calms me. All right. So the time will start after she said the first clue. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. She's a female Disney actress, and she turned. Miley Cyrus. Oh wow. He's a um, drill artist. He just had a tour, sold out Brixton. Uh, Heady One. Um, she's married to Offset. Cardi B. Offset's in this group. Migos. Mm. Why can't? Mm. Go on, come um, on. Afro Beats artist. Um, I can't give you a clue on that one. I'm sorry. Um, she's retired. She's a rapper. She says she's retired anyway. She's from Trinidad. But- Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's two of them. It's a duo. They're rappers from South London. They've opened up a shop and there's, there's food and desserts oh, and stuff. Cronin. King of rock and roll. He died on the toilet eating a hamburger, that was really- apparently. He's a producer. He has a son and the son's the executive producer of everything. He's on Snapchat all the time. Um, he has a lot of keys. DJ Khaled. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my gosh. Auntie, she wears good boots. So she has that wig and she's on the stage. And she oh, Mary Jane Black. Yeah. Oh, he's a bashman artist. He can also, it's also edible. Damn. No, finish it. It's really well, hard the... to think on the spot without nah. saying shit that you shouldn't say. Let's I, go. When I, articulate, you guys good at that? What's that? Oh, this, this, is what this is what it kind of is. Pr- pr- this is the, this yeah, is the game. You go. You've answered the this question. This is the premise of the All game, right. really. Alright, I'm going to put a minute on the clock. Let's and you're do gonna this. Play it with so I'm not actually playing to go, well, I mean, because it's I mean, let's just, let's just, yeah. Well, you know the answers, so technically. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So if you shit, if I don't get it and I know the answers, then you're you're pissed, bro. It's true. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to put a minute on the clock, beginning from your first, the end of your first clue. Okay. Go. Um, Crammy River. Justin. No, you see, you're saying the song. Oh, you can't see the name of the song? No. Oh, okay, let's do that again. Sorry, rewind, <laughs> rewind. So we take that out. <laughs> all right. Man said the song. If I could say the song, you would have finished the whole packet, blood. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. you ready? All right. Go. Uh, has just been accused of uh, um, molesting little kids. Oh, Kelly. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, and now Burner Boy, wife. Steph London. We, uh, he, he, he made a viral video, Soulja YouTube Boy. video, where they were doing a particular dance move. Soulja and Boy. <laughs> That's <for> you. <laughs> King of Pop. Um, Michael Jackson. You know what, these cards. Uh, Nigerian <laughs> artist, Afrobeats, big, massive, not Burner Boy. Kids. Another Afrobeats artist, a female doing she big. Was um, um, he's got a gap tooth, he's a black rapper in the UK. Oh. Let me show you the wave. No, but you said the song, so take that out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Fenty. Rihanna. Can you have that one? Because Fenty. Uh, it's not a song. It's UK name. rapper, light skin, always complaining about other rappers. Wiley. Compla- <laughs> uh, female soul white artist. Finish that one. Female soul white artist. Very talented, always gets that number one hits. Big Adele. Like, internationally feel uncomfortable, you're not doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you should always feel like, okay, this is a new territory that I'm walking in. Um, but yeah, just in a generic sense, R&B soul. Um, I started this journey last year, so I've been doing it for a year now. Uh, I've just been making waves in the UK scene with R&B and soul um, at the minute. So this year has been kind of my defining year in terms yeah. of up and coming artists, yeah. How, how do you want us to feel when... So, I understand we have a song that yeah, we're we going to play. Pride okay. of yours. Okay, yes. Pride. Yes, yes, yes. How is, is pride supposed to make me feel proud? Or am I supposed to be rejoicing in your pride? You're supposed to be in, rejoicing in, rele- in releasing pride. Letting go of pride. Oh. So, the whole song is about, um, you know... Especially, you know, if you have arguments with people or you feel some type of way, um, the argument is done. The... The drama is done, but we still hold that resentment mm. because of how we feel. But in actual fact, holding that resentment, the other person's moved on with their life. They're doing whatever. Mm-hmm. And you holding on to it is actually not benefiting you. So it's all about letting go of your pride. And once you do that, you start to have an open mind and you start to free yourself from the shackles of uh, mental oppression. Wow. <laughs> Shit. But, but people it's true that people, like, sorry. people are so <laughs> ready to mind. always be angry. 
the other person actually, is living dude. their best life and you're still angry. So you, you lost, you caught the L. If you let go of all that stuff, you end up winning yourself and the you can move on. The shackles. Like it. To the shackles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like you again now. We're friends yeah, again. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> it's okay. She's like, I ain't interviewing him. Yeah, uh, I ain't fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. So, so do we want to hear Pride now? Now that he's now that he's told us about the shackles, yeah, I feel and like we should listen to can it. We, can we can you just say that line again? Look dead in the camera and say that line again. What line? The, the shackles with the mental oppression. Yeah, man, and this song is basically about releasing yourself mm -hmm. from the shackles of mental oppression. Mm -hmm. When you do that, you find freedom within yourself. Oh. <laughs> Time. We never even get halfway through the song. We never even. <laughs> but I feel just reload it I mean, three, the Miss three Paul times. Tavares. Lord of mercy. I, I did was you hear that? What? This, <laughs> what? <laughs> nigga. I never experienced it. I never experienced it. Love, so love. sweet. If, listen, song. anyone who is 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 not in the studio at the moment cannot see how cute and innocent. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> this this. Uh, this uh, <laughs> you never hear him? Boy. It's song just like Mariah Carey. You know what I'm you know? You know him and brown skin girl and be able to go brown skin. skin. That's how I'm that feeling. I am just like that in the same part. I am right there, sir. Goose bump, goose bump everywhere. Everywhere. Me forehead. Me bobby them moves. Depp on me forehead. Oh, God. Lord of mercy. Me brown strapper, come on. So what we are going to do, we got to try and play it one more time without the interrupt. You know? That's Jesus right. Jesus Christ. Me never did sweat inside this place in a long time. Way. Okay. So what we are going to do mm -hmm. is get to play Pride one, one more, again. more time. Can you just introduce Tell it one, them one more, more time? What big show is this? Yes. A big show. What radio station you are deaf on? Hey. So we are here at GFM Radio. Yes. And this is the exclusive first play right here of Pride. Way yo. Let's go. Let's go. Of this month it's just more about getting back the first draft if i'm happy with it we can keep it moving if i don't not. think you should be happy with it and i think you should reshoot <laughs> it <and then> <laughs> <you know. laughs> i think you should find if i do floor. reshoot i'll definitely let you All know right, cool. <clears throat> i feel like we should do that like, like. i know what we'll do is we'll shoot our little snippet and then we'll send it to you and then you just fling it just in somewhere, just, somewhere. somewhere. Just, yeah it yeah, doesn't yeah. need to be too long or anything just to so they know subliminals how can you not be singing to your your so like I'm, that. Gonna, I'm gonna defend your future wife here okay. not that you actually even want to get married ever anyway but i'm Dude. gonna defend her yeah and say how dare you not sing to her when she wakes up when, when she's wakes up, wake up yeah. baby i've got your eggs on a plate i already said not coming down the aisle for my wedding i already know the song i'll be singing to her I know a song we're gonna be dancing to that I'll be singing to. It's just at the, for the aisle, that specific moment. No, singing. no but like everywhere you go, baby, are you cooking that J rice? It smells good. <laughs> I put some chicken in the oven for you. Go put your feet up. Oh, oh, oh baby. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What are you mad? I, I, I'm speechless. I just want you to follow me around and sing. <laughs> like, just narrate my life. Just she's walking down the stairs. Oh, she fell. <laughs> Because I probably would have It's me. Come on. <laughs> what, what, what she said. No, I'm dead. I'm having way too much fun with this right Honestly, <laughs> I can't do. So you've only been doing this for a year? Just a year. And How? So, so what number song is this? If that even oh, makes sense. Maybe seven. <gasps> so this year I've just been like uh, creating the buzz from just releasing singles, singles, singles. And then next year, early next year, I've got my EP ready to come out. So this year I've just been kind of like testing the waters and also not putting any pressure on myself because I feel as though I need to find my sound, I need to do this, I need to do that. So I gave this year my time to just experiment and do me and not put any pressure on what I'm doing. And I think that's when work happens naturally as well. Are you currently just focusing on your music or do you have a job as well? Are you going uni? What are you doing with so your I, life? I've, I graduated, I was um, studying law. I had an intention to, to do law, I was supposed to like stop my traineeship in Brussels and then after coming out of uni I was like I was depressed at uni for like my final year and after coming out of that and finally getting my grades I said to myself never again am I not going to put my happiness uh -huh. at the forefront so when I came out I said all right 
I sat down with myself and said, what do I actually want to do? And I said, okay, right now the music is what's making me happy, happy, so just go with that. It wasn't like simple go, I was doing music, I was back and forth, I was like going back to my parents, my friends like, what do I do, what do I do, I have this opportunity here. And they just told me the same thing that I told you guys, like your happiness comes first, so I decided to just run with it, and I've not looked back since then. Well, where'd you come from, like your background? Nigeria, yeah. That must have been a yeah. difficult, difficult you know conversation. What? So, luckily, yeah. luckily, <laughs> luckily, because I always wanted to become a lawyer, I wasn't forced or okay. anything like that. But I remember my third year, I knocked on my parents' door and I said, oh, I say, Mommy, Daddy, I said, I need to speak to you. And my dad was like, Who have you got in pregnant? Who's pregnant? Ah! I said, No, 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 because normally I don't, I don't ever knock on my parents' door like that. And I told them, No, no one's pregnant, no one's pregnant yet. Oh, shit. Um, but I said to them, should have got licks just for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're brighty. I said to them, listen, I got my degree now, and then the music's what I want to do. Um, for them, like, the most important thing was security, having that degree. And I've always kind of been like disciplined at school, so they gave me that leeway and they said, do what you need to do, and they're, they're, they're supportive of me. So, so um, but I don't think if I hadn't gone through the whole process of education and all of that. It would have been very difficult to convince them because they need they need track record. Yeah, they need mm-hmm. to see that. They, right, they need previous history. They need to. They need your references. They need your references. They need to see it. Facts. Um, so yeah. you you mentioned you touched quickly on being depressed in your last year. Yeah. Of is that like real depression or was it just like? For me, I knew it was because I'm a very 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 happy person and I'm always the kind of friend that people come to for. Uh,